ended on making 2% this week, J trading gold, but this, this week was really incredible week, right? I made mistakes. Next week, we're gonna fix those fucking mistakes, all right? But keep in mind, so this week I took 14 trades, five break even, three losses, and four, six wins, right? I think six wins. Yup, six wins, right? Yeah, let's go over it. So the reason I uh, reason I ended two percent win because I really got fumbled on Friday and on Wednesday. I got I really got cooked. So yeah, I'm gonna go over it. So we're gonna go over what trades we took, what trade we could have took, what trade that we should have took, right? And what trade we should have not taken, right? So basically, let's go. On Monday, on Monday, uh, actually. I think I lost no I lost four trades by the way and I'm at four break-even trades four losses and six wins right let's go over it right so on Monday right so on Monday I was basically bullish so you know saying at uh, the recent session low I was bullish because I you know I was looking for a comment to the upside so what were my comments to the upside basically was this right all oh, the trend was down right I'm still looking for a bullish movie right so basically that's what I was looking for Boom, right here, 30 minute, you know, 30 minute auto block and 30 minute, you know, saying 30 minute session low. Go to, you know, saying five minute, 15 minute, I mean. Right, so on Monday, the trade I took on here, the reason I took this trade was, right? So this trade I did not take, but I should have took it, right? I did say I did not take, I should have took it, right? Because I have my buy pattern, I have my entry position, right? This trade, what a, this trade. So now, the 30 minute building blocks does matter 30 minute building blocks are fantastic they matter they, they work right so from now on i'm gonna play i'm gonna implement 30 minute building block if i see a 30 minute building block i'm gonna use it as my fantasy right so yeah on so the reason i the reason i could have taken this trade right i could have could have could have right but let's just say i did take it right let's just say i did take it right so because that's why the, this is why it's a weekly market recap right but i was i'll go over what i trade i should have taken right so that's what I took right as well, right? So basically, the reason I took this trade was basically, you know, touch my merchandise low, give, give a huge move up, you know, give chart to start, create a really strong bullish, you know, support. Five minute, you know, for a buy gap, touch, right? And I was looking for a breakout structure, which happened right over here. After that, you know, ripped up, TP hit, came back down, gave me a buy pattern, which is well right over here for me. Right? Small well, entry right here after, you know, after that buy pattern happened, right? So that's right below this. So what was the what was the main key point of this trade is that you know take action right on this one it was that widen your stop plot don't make it too tight right let the market breathe and yeah that and this trade that is the trade I took over here I lost the trade you know on this trade there should have been no trade no trade no trade because you know no 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 like you know saying there's there's literally no setup right so what what are the mistake I made on this trade. Which basically, if the 15 minute time frame, so when I'm looking for a 15 minute big time frame breakup structure, right, and I get a 15 minute time frame breakup structure, right, and I'm gonna look at a five minute time frame. So when I want the five minute time frame with my bias, I'm gonna look for a, uh, I'm, I'm gonna look for execution. But if the five minute time frame against my bias, I'm gonna look for a five minute convolute or five minute execution, you know, five minute, uh, what do you call a five minute, you know, building block or five minute breakup structure to the upside. So that's the mistake I made. So now, from now on, if the alley attempt my uh, if the alley time for the get my bias, I'm looking for a five fifteen minute structure. I get a fifteen minute structure. I look at five minutes time for the five minute get my bias. I look for a five minute big structure. Then once I get a five minute big structure, I look for execution entry or five minute building block right to enter right. But this one we never had a building block, so I will not make the same mistake again. So this is what I'm gonna take it to next week and next week I cannot make the same mistake again. Okay, this is what I'm doing right. This is a token. This is a loss. This this was a stupid loss. Stupid loss, right? So this this one this one I lost one percent and. This whole week, by the way, I reached 0.5 percent, right? That's why that's why I made two percent. But because this week, this whole week after this, after after I lost this one percent, I I started I started risking 0.5 percent throughout the whole week, right? So this trade was a stupid loss. So this trade will not be happening again because the five minute block structure back down, right? And never gives the five minute break structure back up or five minute building block. So this was a stupid loss. And next what? Next week, Wallahi, I will not make say say same mistake again. I know I promised myself stuff for the for saying Wallahi, but I will try my best and I make same mistake again, right? But there's no setup here. So once the 15 minute break structure up with my bias, I'm gonna look for a five minute. I'm looking five minute time for the five minute time I get to my bias. So I'm not away. I, I will not enter it away. I will look for a five minute confluence or a five minute break structure, then enter right or five minute buy pattern right. But yeah, that's the money trade right. On this trade, I did take it. I think I, yeah, I did take this trade here as well, right? I did I take this trade on yeah this trade. I broke even and I did not make no money on this trade because uh, I I broke even somewhere over here. Somewhere over here, I broke even and the market came back and took me out right. You know. So, 
this trade border enter this trade five minute you know five minute auto block a five minute big trade happen right here so right below this right and tp1 right here because we're going against the bias right and uh i mean tp1 could have been here but you know i want tp is good because that's like we're going against the bias by the way so yeah so five minutes on the next day what was the key key main key point of this trade is to know the concept will deliver take action of the saw concept and yeah we'll definitely take action next time right so in front of the next day tuesday on market open right over a concept with the news huge huge news came out came back down right this is the first trade that happened right here this trade i took it i broke even it made, made no money right because my break even spot was a break there was no break even spot right here for me to take but guess what right there although there wasn't no break even spot but there was news coming out so when news came out i was like yikes i have to break even because news gonna come out right so yeah and I took another trade out of that and I took another trade over here. I took a buy position right here. So I saw right below this and I hit this trade on a, you know, in a 1%, in 1.5% a gain, right? On this trade, right? Because commission and stuff, right? Like point, like 1.5% yeah, as an end. Uh, but by the way, I raised 0.5% on this trade, right? So basically this, I broke even right here. What, what, what was the main key point of this trade was basically to, you know, look for a breakout structure. Don't, don't make stupid moves and yeah. This one's break even. This one to take profit, and the reason I lost the trade, the reason I broke even the trade was because all the one break even spot was right here. The reason I broke even right now, right here, is one simple word: news. So I broke even. Boom, came back down, took me out. I had another buying entry right over here. Then I took another one. Boom, I hit TP. But the main key point is here is to not break even too early. Time to break even. Don't break even too late. And you know what I'm saying. Right when he's a break even spot, break even, right? That's 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 the key. Make one of this, right? Now we go to the next day on agent session. So what happened? Agent session set up the low and it just gave us a building block. I, I, I think I took the trade, right? Uh yeah, I did take the trade, right? So I put sales right below this and I enter this on a breakup structure. And yeah, TP1 right here because the market the market goes inside of the zone below the zone. People below the take profit was like yikes. It's not gonna TP2. All they went, all they did went to TP2, but I came back down. I made money, so I got out of the market, right? That's what they done. That's what they done Tuesday, and yeah. And by the way, I took this trade as well here. From here, I, I, I did take it. I did take another trade, by the way. From here, it was somewhere from here to sell so stop below. Sell so stop like right here. Right, I did take the trade, by the way. I took another trade right over here. I take this one here, take profit. What was the key main point? What was the key main point of this trade was to break even, right? Time to break even, don't break even too early. And time to, what do you call it? Right when you take break even spot, break even, right? And yeah. So I had another setup right over here. I took this one as well. Mm -hmm. So on this one, what was the key main key point of this one is not to break even too early. Know that your concept will deliver. Trust your process. Trust the process of the concept and know that it's a concept of trade and take action, right? Also, those are main key point of this. And the next trade on this one, this one's break even trade, right? You know, I had a, I had a, you know, saying super liquidity, I think, right? Yeah, super liquidity came back up. Five minute, you know, fair five gap entered on the five minute fair gap set up below this, right? Take profit was over here. Him a break even spot, so right when he make a break even spot, broke even, you know, market came back down, took me out, and another I have, I not, I did not have another buy position, so this one right here, I took another loss on Monday. I'm gonna go over it. Let me go over it right now. Right over here, I took another loss. Where was it? Um, let me see. Where was it here somewhere? Right over here. Right. I took a loss on this because why did I enter this trade? This was not my setup, by the way. So this was this was a stupid loss. So what was the main key point of this loss is that I had no setup, by the way, but I did take it. So. Oh, they even keep on it that setup that setup that setup was there was that once you hit the danger zone let it let the market get out the danger zone and let get a five minute confluence right and get a you know five minute breakout trust for five minute confluence and enter right but this one i got millipeded you know broke such down over given breakfast right then you know ripped down and i lost, I didn't lost this trade right so keep in mind once he hit my once he hits my danger zone let the market get out of my danger zone look for a five minute confluence or five minute breakout structure whatever it is so i look for a five minute confluence right then Look for execution entry, but this one never happened. Although it get it, although it got out of my, uh, although it got out of my, uh, I'm just saying, although it did get out of my danger zone, right? 
give me a five minute break, five minute auto block. But guess what? Right when I came to the auto block, it never broke such a backup. So that was a stupid loss. And yeah, I promise you guys I'll do better. And yeah, this one now. The next time I'm gonna do is when this happens, is that once it ate, fuck. So once he hits my five minute confluence, I'm gonna look for a one minute breakout charge. One minute gets, at the one minute against my bias, once he once he touches my five minute confluence, and the one five minute confluence gets against my bias, I'm waiting for a five minute breakout charge. I'm gonna look for a one minute breakout charge. If the if if it's not right, against my bias, look for a five minute a one minute confluence or one minute reaction to answer right. But this one never happened. I'm gonna get my entry and I lost the trade right. So next uh, next week when we go to next week, we're gonna keep in mind is that once he goes to our danger zone, let it get out of the danger zone, let it close right. I look for a five minute confluence when the five once it goes to the once it goes to a five minute confluence i look for a one minute breakout treasure or a one minute you know reaction the, um, the reason i'm looking for one minute treasure the bias is against me when i go to the bias against me i look for one minute treasure. if not I look for one minute confidence if not i look for one minute reaction right so the next year i took right here on i think this was on the agent session no this one this was on what do you call it that's still still same time right so this trade was basically out of the super liquidity right fill out filled some things in right so here was a five minute breakup treasure, five minute auto block, right? So prior to the five minute auto block, I was looking for a one minute breakup treasure. So once he touched it, the mon the market went against us. Now we broke treasure, now we broke treasure until he broke treasure right here. Test up below this, take profit. One was, oops, right? The pick take profit one was right. What was this? Or was I again? So the take profit one was right on this high, never got hit. The next day, got hit, right? So they thought that one got hit, right? Right over there, TP1, TP2, never got hit. So my break even spot was where my break even spot was all the way here. So right when he hit this zone right here, I broke even. And this trade, keep in mind, I did not take this trade because that's, that's what I'm talking about. It, I should have taken it. Uh, I did have the setup. I, I was right at, at 11, at 11 o'clock, I was looking for a setup. But it never happened, so I got out of the market and 11.30 gave me a setup and yeah, it TP. So right here, I broke even. My broke even spot was right over here. I broke even, right? And yeah, eventually hit my game back up, take me hit my TP. But on, on Asian session, I had another setup. Cheap of liquidity, 5 minute building block, which was this auto block. This one, I did take this one, but I broke even on this one. I don't know why I broke even, but my break even spot was right over here, by the way. I broke even too early on this trade. And yeah, a lot to trade. So what was the main key point of this trade? Is that the not breaking me too early. Time to break even. And right when he touched break even, right where I when he touch the break even spot, break even, right? So what I'm gonna do next week, once 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 something like this happened, I will not break even too early. I'll break even I will time to break even and I will once he might hit my take break even, I'll break even fast and quick, right? That's what I've done and I got out right here because he carried a small candle. He came and took me out because it's a lot of speed, right? But next time, I promise you guys, this won't happen. Yeah, he might take profit. And I did take the trade. I did take the trade, but it was break even, right? And so the next day, on Tuesday, I did. I think that did I take this trade? Yeah, I did. I did take this trade. So, so he came out. You know, I swept out. I swept out his low. So I was like, yo, that's really bullish, right? He gave us a setup, right? That was a manipulation. Market came back down lower. Took us. Uh, took a lot of people out, right? Five minute auto block from my building block. I got a we got a one minute contractor set up below this. I got another big one minute contractor. So give me I got two entries here. And yeah, take profit one, take profit two. Got both got hit, right? You know. What was the key key main key point of this trade was that you know What was the main key point of this trade? Hmm. By the way, I broke even right here too, by the way. Just so this you guys know, right? So what was the main key point of this trade is that to Break even the time, right? Trust the process of trade, right? Break even on time, trust the process of trade. Don't break even too early. I'm now saying, what's he break even the spot? Break even fast, right? Other than that is, yeah, that's that. That's what I learned from this trade is that to trust the process. And yeah, oh, and I did take the CP and I made eight hundred ten dollars on this trade. On Friday, this is this is the Thursday night time, right? So I did have a setup on Thursday. First one was a super liquidity, you know, give me a setup right here, enter right here. I somewhat broke even right here and I lost this trade. I broke even, by the way, I didn't lose this trade, but I broke even and I lost this trade somehow. There was literally no break even space right here. 
So what I did wrong in this, what, what, what did I do? What did I do wrong in this trade is that I broke even too early and I should have not broke even too early. And yeah, I'll definitely not make the same mistake again, right? So what I'm going to do next week is that not break even too early, time to break even. And if there's no building block, do not break even too early, right? Trust, trust the process of the trade, right? And other thing is, that is, was he breaking me spot, breaking me fast, right? And I got another setup right here, setup right below this too as well. And yeah, I got the same setup. It's the same TP and they both got hit. And this one I was a break even trade, right? And this one right here. I took the trade. This was a loss. So this could have been a break even trade, but so let's go over the trade as well, right? You had a 30 minute conflict, hourly conflict, right? So why did I get in this trade? Was a buy pattern happened. Boom. So buy pattern happened. I entered. It hit my break even spot was right here, right when I hit my break even spot. Right when I'm gonna enter, we're gonna break even. The market just wobbled down and it took me out right so what was the main key point of this trade is this right right when he hits break even spot break even you know don't break even too early and right when he breaking spot breaking fast right and time to break even right this is what i've done and yeah that's what this is just right here was a stupid loss stupid loss right stupid loss i'm not saying stupid loss and on Friday, the last time, this right here, I took another trade. I had a 4 hour, four hour auto block, 4 hour, uh, what do you call it, liquidity sweep, one, one hour liquidity sweep, a hourly auto block, right? And a 4 hour auto block entered on this, right? So the reason I entered on this trade was because auto breakup block, boom, got up here, right? And this trade, the reason I lost this trade was because that this right here was a respectable loss. The market just wanted to go down lower, so the market took me out. This right here was a respectable loss, and yeah made no mistakes and yeah i like this loss more than the other loss right and yeah this loss i didn't make no mistakes i love it and yeah that's respectful and, took, and by the way i took another trade and from right here this trade was a break even as well I took a trade from here where was it from i took a trade from here and hit my break even spot and i got out and yeah i made no money i made like ten dollars on this trade right so i right below here on this trade was a break even trade as well so what was the main keep on this break even trade was that right when he should take profit right when he's a break even spot break even and don't don't break even too early trust the process and other thing is that trust the process and don't break in too early break in on time time to break even and right when he's breaking even, break even uh, break breaking fast right that's what we can do so what can we carry to the next week from this week this week what, what were the mistake i made this week was that once the 15 minute time frame against us we get a 15 minute breakout structure once we get a 15 minute structure look at five minute time from the one for time frame against my bias i'll look for a five minute breakout structure right a five minute conflict to enter and that's, that's what i'm gonna take the next week right then after that if the hourly time frame and after that right that's that's uh well, that's one mistake i made so next week i'm gonna fix that right there so next week what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait for 15 minute breakout structure once i get a 15 minute structure, look at five minute time from the five minute against my bias i look for a five breakout structure or five minute conflict to enter right other than that is that other mistake I made is that I made stupid choices. Next, I don't make stupid choices. Other than that, right when he's a break even spot, break even fast and time to break even. Don't break even too early, right? So next week I'm not gonna break even too early. I'm gonna time to break even and I will time to break even and I will not break even too. Oh wait, right. So I'm, I'll time to break even. I will not break even too early and once he hits my break even spot, I will break even fast and quick, right? And yeah, I will not hesitate. And yeah, this is it. And next week. Well, definitely not make a mistake and thank you for watching my weekly market recap.